My land is my small motherland. This is the village where I was born and raised by my parents, who also grew up in this village. This is the place I came back to after studying, serving in the army and where I work. This is my land that I love. This is the land of milk and honey. Larry Kolosha's small motherland is really not large. There are all of 650 residents in the village. 250 of them work on this farm. They cultivate 3,000 hectares of arable land and tend for more than 3,000 heads of livestock. There are 23 barns with horses, bulls, calves and pigs, but the most valuable animals on this farm are the cattle. A cow is a companion of all mankind. She's our nurse. A cow is a dairy factory, as it produces fresh, nutritional milk after grazing in the fields for a few hours. We have a thousand and one hundred small factories. This is our achievement, and I must say that animal husbandry has provided us the means of survival. When we took over this farm, there were a lot of arrears, both in wages and the supply chain. We understood that the cow is our money maker. We said, Madam Cow, make us some money. We understood where the cow milk is located, why the cow gives little milk, how much milk she can make, so we decided to develop this industry. Valery Kolosha began managing the farm in 2000. His fellow villagers trusted him, and after two years the old cow sheds came to life. Since then the company has been breeding the Holstein breed of cattle. In recent years, the number of such hosting breed of cattle on Ukrainian farms has increased significantly. Over 16,000 cattle of this breed are registered officially. All this is thanks to fertility specialists. In the 1990s, we began with 300 heads. Every year, we replenish the herd from our young. We sell about 50 heads as young breeders. We relied on Ukrainian red pied. But as of today, as you see, we have a line of black pied as well. Year after year, it's getting harder to obtain high-yielding semen production of the red pied breed. However, there is a large spectrum of the black pied breed. We're selling the young breeders to people. Every year we have a program, one heifer for every needy and large family. Thanks to this state-funded program, we sell about a dozen heifers to such young families. For Ukraine, the Holstein breed is the most promising. It is highly productive and a moderate climate is ideal for it. The issue of inbreeding, the crossbreeding of the German cow with Ukrainian red and black pout cows has already been studied and implemented. The characteristic features of the new breed's calves are a strong constitution, a well-balanced build, a high stock otter of a wash tube or bowl shape, a long neck with thinly folded skin, sharp withers, a flat back, and a wide loin with sturdy limbs. Valery can be proud of praise his herd of heifers for years to come. On his farm he managed to create the ideal philosophy of Feng Shui and a sense of mutual understanding for his cattle. If the cow is silent, then everything is good here. They have both fodder and water. They are pleased. Technologists have accommodated them in the best possible way. However, when there is no water or food, the cow comes up and moves. When she is ill, the message is conveyed differently. Those who have worked in this field for many years understand this bovine tongue. Here everything is done according to schedule, feeding, health check and daily walks to the walk-in parlor, where there is a separate stall for calves and a personal container for each of them already from two weeks of age. All the more they are fed special mixtures. This means that the consumption of milk is significantly reduced. 
Valeri's farm is one of the leaders in the development of local husbandry industry. As experience shows, if you approach any business with love and use financial and human resources rationally, then this business will be profitable. Valeri's enterprise is constantly growing. He introduces new technologies and this brings in good profits, which are then invested in developing the production process, the humanitarian sphere of the village, and in general in support of the local budget institutions, and not only those of the village council, but also the county as a whole. The main criterion in the selection of cows is their milk yield. Fertility specialists solve this problem in different ways. They assort gene material and improve the feed base for the well-being of the animal. Half of the harvest from the fields of the enterprise stably supports the farm. Every year specialized crops are carefully selected for farming according to the diet of cows. Thus, in 18 years, milk yields increased from 2 to 10,000 kilograms per year from each cow. We grow corn for silage. Cereals are also the basis of complete feed. We also grow alfalfa, from which the hay is made. This is an absolute must. We have three to four hay harvests. We also grow soybeans, which are exclusively our own, not genetically modified. We also process our soy right here on the farm. We control this process through our own production facility. We have a shop that processes soy and sunflower into oil. We then sell the oil and use oil meal for feeding the cattle. The first year prepared enough feed. We saw that our cows produced 10 to 15 liters of milk. This was fantastic. We never imagined that we would get up to 30 liters of milk. Today our cows produce 50 to 60 liters of milk, and that is thanks to this nutritious feed. But cows do not live and breed alone. They're more willing to give milk while listening to music, not just some music, but classical music, like here in the Parallel Milking Parlors. Valeri introduced such innovations after taking part in foreign workshops. Here, both his educations as a manager of foreign economic activity and a builder came in quite handy. All the construction work was financed by the state. We designed these premises and built them. We put in a milking parlor, which became the fifth one in Ukraine. We studied these technologies hard, traveled around the world and visited more than 20 countries to gain such invaluable experience. Milk is produced without contact. The human factor is minimized there. Only the preparation of cows for milking is done manually. Both the milking and transportation of the milk to the refrigerator is all in automatic mode, which also makes for high-quality milk. The concentration of somatic cells in our milk is up to 80,000. Hygiene of the litter is also important. As you see, the cows are clean and their litter is dry. We see to it. We produce top-notch milk, but we still monitored our farm. We purposefully got permission for the production of baby food milk, and our entire farm and fields passed the monitoring test. In the milking parlor, designed for 24 places, one can milk 600 cows per day. Thanks to special collars, a high-tech computerized system allows you to monitor the parameters of each cow. Now there are two such rooms in the farm. The whole herd, a 1,100 heads, is managed by only four milkers. The amount of milk yield is counted by the computer. It enters the container and is immediately cooled. After that, the technologies of production of high-quality dairy foods come into play. This is the first farm where you will find such a close production cycle. Everything is automated, starting from the milking. The produced milk is of the highest quality and is bought at high prices and meets European standards, so to speak. And Valery has just reached the level at which not only milk is produced, he also created a cheese production enterprise. Quite well understood that you need not only make products, but also to process them in local conditions. 
In order to produce high quality milk, you must have passion for this. It is human drive and financial resources that produce the highest results. Cheese from quality milk is wonderful. It's a delicious and healthy product. The technology of its production has existed for hundreds of years. Hard granite cheeses are a real treasure trove of natural nutrients for the human body. They contain lysine and other amino acids. A lot of protein, but it is digested better than proteins. That is, those who watch after their weight should be more cautious when it comes to eating cheese. Girls, how are you doing? All good? Well, tell me if you need anything. We cook cheese, hard cheese, gouda, and soft cheeses, ricotta, cottage cheese, sour cream. We make brinza. We do this on demand, depending on what is needed. For example, this is 10% gouda cheese, which is made from pure milk. This block of cheese is made from 30 liters of milk. Our cheese is made from natural milk. We don't add any chemicals. Only milk, rennet, and that's all. We also age it for a month before sale. If we have any problems, Valery always helps us solve them. He visits us very often. He personally knows how this cheese is being made. There was even a day when he was weighing and dousing water. He was here with us the whole day. Breeding of cattle, production of milk in modern milk and parlors, cheesy dairy, crop farming, oil mill, and a soybean processing plant. Valery Kolosha dreams of developing his multifaceted industrial dairy farm into the future and building a so-called Ukrainian Moulin Rouge. But this will not be a cabaret. It will be, in fact, a mill that will make flour. We are also looking for export options and are arranging the sale of our product abroad. Today we make wheat and we sell most of it to processing plants, but we want to process most of it ourselves and sell finished products like flour. Russia's most recent innovation is a confectionery shop and bakery. Valery always invites guests here. He meets them with the traditional Ukrainian bread and salt of hospitality. In this bakery, bread has been baked every night for a year and a half, especially for local village residents and for those living in neighboring settlements. The tasty cookies paired with pure milk are especially delivered to local schools. We bake cookies of different kinds, butter, oatmeal, also pastry. The director of the bakery, Valery, is fond of a special pastry called a railway station. He really likes it. We make marshmallows, we make candies with natural chocolate, dried apricots and black plums. It is 100% chocolate. We also bake cakes. We take cheese and cottage cheese from the farm, which are specially used for baking pastries. We also make cheese sticks from hard cheese. We use milk to bake a Napoleon cake. Kids absolutely love this cake. Up to 1,000 kilograms of bread are baked here overnight. In the morning, as the saying goes, the first tracks lead to the farm. A Ukrainian farmer is like Pinocchio. If you give him 10 shillings, he will not rush to buy something. Instead, he will plant them in a field to grow a tree. So what do farmers do with such money? We invested in a farm, in cows, in a tractor and a harvester. After all, the agrarian sector is an engine for the growth of Ukraine that will pull the whole country to the top of the world.